Hello everybody, this is Trisha G, and welcome to a video on how to launch a new project using the new LibriVox management system. Okay, here I am on the management tool page. Uh, the link for this will be in various places on the site. It will probably be in the launch pad, um, in the wiki, and on various other forum pages. Uh, you do not need a password of your own or a login and password to get to this page or to launch an existing project. Okay, so I'm going to click on launch a new project right here, this button. This takes me to a template generator. If you have launched projects before at LibriVox using the old template generator, some of this will look familiar, but do bear with me. Uh, there are some changes, so go ahead and watch the video anyway. Okay, on this page, over here, it says English. Um, if you click on this, if you are more familiar with another language that is listed, uh, go ahead and click on that. I'll do Italian. And you can see that the instructions are changed into Italian. I'm going to change back to English now. Some of these might not be fully developed, so bear with us, have patience as we uh, finish off some of these fine-tuning uh, details. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Um, the items with a star by them are required fields, so you will need to enter those. I have a project here that I am going to launch. Um, it was it was entered by another user, and it is sitting in our launch pad at the moment, so I'm going to just uh, copy the information over. Um, obviously, you wouldn't have this uh, in a nice form. You would have all the information in different places when you set it up yourself. Okay, the title is going to be Children's Edition of Touching Incidents and Remarkable Answers to Prayer. Link to the text. Um, as always, if you are linking to Project Gutenberg, use the book's main page. Don't use the link that you see when you're in the HTML text or in the plain text version. Um, for example, on this one, this is the main page. We do not want this link or the text link because if you use this page, then people can choose for themselves which format to use. They're not forced into the format that you have chosen for them. So I'm going to copy this over. Type of project, this one happens to be a solo. And the project completion or projected completion date is January 1, 2014. The recorded language is going to be English. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different languages in here, but usually it's going to be English or German or Dutch or French or Japanese. Is this a compilation with multiple authors and sources? Um, if your project has different authors and you want them all to be individually searchable in the catalog, you would put yes. If it's got different sources, uh, so you don't have a main source up here, you would check yes for this. Uh, otherwise, it's no. Information about the authors. Last name, Shah. Whoops. Okay, you'd start typing in the name, and a pop-up list comes up with authors that are already in our database. If he is in here, um, you would just click on the name, and uh, then that would be done. For example, if it were Edward R. Shaw, I click on this, and all the information comes up for me, which is very handy. Um, if you make a mistake, if you choose somebody, uh, and it's not the right person, you have to come over here and remove this author, and then click Add Another Author, because it did set that person in this um, in this record already, and so I need to clear them out before I put in the new person. Let's see, this was S.R. Shaw, if I recall. Solomon Benjamin Shaw, 1854, and we don't know his 
So this is Shah Solomon Benjamin. Year of birth was 1854. If I know his year of death, I would put that in here. Link to author on Wikipedia. If you have that, it would go here. This particular author, author is not in Wikipedia, so I will leave it blank. If you have more than one author, you would click on Add Another Author um, and add them the same way. If you have a translator, same thing. You would uh, start typing in their last name, and the pop-up list comes up, and you would select them. Okay. Addif additional information about this work. Copyright year of the edition to be used for the recording. <clears throat> okay, this dedication was written in 1955 for the first reprint edition, so I'm guessing that this um, edition here is actually in 1955, so I will put that in here, 1955. Brief summary of the book, you would put that in. It needs to be a public domain source, either written by yourself or found on a public domain, uncopyrighted uh, summary. And the summary is by Tim Cote. Link to the book on Wikipedia. I don't believe it's there. No. Original year of publication. In this case, it was 1895. <clears throat> Select appropriate genres for your project. Okay. Um, what you do is you click on the Select from menu, and a pop-up list comes up. It's a very quite a long list. Um, if I page down or arrow down, you can see it's long. These first categories, here's children's fiction, children's nonfiction, and some sub-genres in there. And we've got plays and poetry here. Uh, the rest of these on this main page are all fiction. And to get to nonfiction, you come to the bottom here, arrow over, and you can either page down or use your arrow down to scroll through this list. This is a children's, this is a children's religious uh, nonfiction piece. So I will go up here to children's nonfiction and put in religion. Only choose one or two genres. Um, we do not want to fill these up with genres because that prevents it from being a really good search tool. If you have, you know, one kiss in a book, it's not a romance. If you have, if it's a biography, then you would choose biography and not history. If it is a blatantly history book, okay, see, here's biography. Um, if it's a blatant history book, then you would choose history. Otherwise, if it's just somebody retelling something from their past, which happens to be historical, that would be memoirs. Choose the category that is most specific, and it will also be able to be found in the less specific categories. So say I had, uh, say I had poetry, um, and it is a collection of poems by a single author, then I would select poetry single author. I would not choose poetry and poetry single author. Okay, I hope that's clear. This one is only having the one genre, which is children's religion. And any keywords I want to add, this is a good place to put any of those other genres that you want to put in, but we don't want you to, you know, for example, you know, if it were a, a memoir of, say, the Civil War, I could put in Civil War, I could put in history, etc., etc. Um, this you can fill up, you know, within reason. Um, this is the keywords which uh, will be searchable at some point as well.
Level of proof listening required. Um, you've probably seen this before if you've done a project before. Standard is your typical um, checking for repeats and things like that. Word perfect, special, and translated text. Number of sections, I am going to put this in as eight. Is there a preface or introduction that will be read as a separate file? Um, if you have something that you want to be numbered section zero, basically, you would check yes. Otherwise, check no. I'm going to go ahead and put yes, this has a preface that will be read as a separate file. Information about you if you are a first-time soloist, uh, you would fill in that information as needed. Okay, I will click on Next. And here is the forum code. Um, this is pretty much similar if you've done a project before in the old system. This is very similar. Uh, the biggest change is this project code. Um, which the MCs will use to easily transfer all this data into the database. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and do a let's see, do a select all and copy. And then what I would do is go into the forum, into the go into the new projects launch pad, click on new topic and start filling in, let's see, I would put this as a solo and, and put in the title. I'm going to shorten it because it's pretty long. By Shaw. And then I'm going to paste my forum code in here. I'm not actually going to post this right now, but you would click Submit. I'm going to do a preview so you can see what it looks like. And it's pretty much similar to what you've seen before, if you have ever done this before. And, yep, yeah, so that is... Um, you can also come in here. Okay, I just did a, I just did a preview. And I see that my example file name is honkin' long. Look how long that is. So I can go in and edit anything that I need to edit in here. Um, since I'm in the preview, I have this editing box down here. Um, so I'm going to go down here. Okay, here's my file name. I'm going to change this just to touching incidents. Basically make the file name succinct, make it describing what it is, uh, you know, using all or part of the title, but don't make it so long that it's going to be a, you know, real hardship to look at in the system and to click on and, you know, for people who download it. Okay, um, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and submit this so you can see what it looks like. There it is. And if there is anything else that I want to edit, you know, say I, these aren't going to be chapter numbers, say it's going to be, I want to say section number, I can come back up to the top, click on edit to edit my file or edit my post and come down here and change these to section. If you need help with any of this, um, go ahead and talk to an admin or um, somebody who has more experience and they can help you figure all this out um, and give you pointers on how to fill out this information. All right, that is it for the new uh, project launch. Thanks for watching.